so guys welcome to leaves and lungs so we're gonna deal something interesting today uh, the topic today we're gonna see is about on subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis so this one is like recent phenomenon because there has been like a lot of sporadic cases that has been happening around the world like like there has been like a uh, hundred to one fifty cases has been reported in Africa and also some cases has been detected in uh, the Americas as well. So so because of the like growing influence and the growing importance on these diseases, we gonna deal a short and crisp note about subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis. Okay. So a few words about measles. So actually measles is a like viral diseases that mainly affects the brain and also it affects your lungs that may cause pneumonia. And it also causes GI, GI diseases, that is gastrointestinal diseases. It may cause profuse diarrhea also. So if, if you want to know more about the measles, you can just read the complication that it can cause us here. And uh, we'll deal separately when the time permits about the measles virus and almost the vaccination regarding measles and everything else. Okay. So right now, you just need to know that SSPE is a complication of measles. Okay. So those who have been already attacked by measles have a higher chances of getting SSPE in the near future. So because of that, you need to be extra careful. So first, just know about the diseases. So what is SSPE? So you have to know this. This is a rare chronic progressive demyelinating diseases. So demyelinating disease is nothing but because your nerves are always made up of like a, like a sheet called as myelin sheet. So demyelinating is nothing but the myelin sheath get destroyed by this condition so because of that there is a severe nerve injury to almost every part of your body and mainly it is like a non-permissive infection that is occurring with the brain tissues okay so because of this almost all your like nerve sensations and almost all your physical activity will have a drastic impact when this virus infect you and the frequency is almost like if you've been affected by measles already there's a chances of you getting uh, the SSP in the near future. If measles virus is not treated properly, then this will result in subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis. And here you see a slight bending of the whole posture that is due to demyelination of the several nerves, and this is called as Pisa syndrome. So the first thing is, unlike you have fever in measles. You don't have fever in this uh, SSPE. Instead, you have like uh, intellectual deterioration, and that is your like functions of brain is like getting destroyed very much drastically, and also your physical movements is also affected very seriously, as I shown in the last slide. Okay, so the final result is the patient will become quadriparatic and spastic. Quadriparatic means its weakness in all the four limbs and spastic with hyperactive tendon reflexes. So these are the things that is mainly associated with your movement disorders. And uh, there's also some visual disturbances and ataxia. So ataxia is nothing but change in the posture of your walking. As you saw in the last image uh, where, the, like, the, where the child has been like has that lateral outswing. So these are the things that mainly like are the, the prominent symptoms of SSPE. Once you suspect a patient is having uh, SSPE, there are like very few tests that you can detect the uh, SSPE. First is you have to detect is there any measles antibodies in cerebrospinal fluid or uh, you can do an MRI or an EEG. So with the help of these techniques you can like detect the presence of uh, SSPE. So this is an image of how the brain is like attacked during SSPE and uh, uh, regarding measles antibodies there will be a surge in uh, like number of uh, gamma globulins that occur in the CSF fluid and with the help of that uh, either you can use PCR or uh, any immunochromosome assay test or to detect those uh, antibodies and just remember there is no specific treatment for SSP as given as by the uh, Harrison itself so you have to go or treat it uh, mostly in the uh, symptomatic way because there is no drug of choice for that but there has been reported few cases uh, as shown like positive trend in uh, improvement uh, when they are treated with a specific drug the drug is called since it's a rare condition there has been like clinical trials has been conducting everywhere and there's supposed to be one drug which actually helps and this is isoprenosin so this is the dosage that has been given it has to be given either intrathecal or intraventricular uh, sometimes interferon alpha is also given for those patient and uh, but this is like not FDA approved so you have to be careful because uh, as per Harrison this is the only drug that can actually helps you so guys this is all about SSP I hope you learn something about it because since it's a global phenomenon right now you need to know a basic thing about that so this is all about uh, SSP I hope you enjoy this lesson 
Uh, if you really like the video, give a thumbs up and do sp uh, spread your support to us because that is the only driving force to this channel. Okay, cheers and have a great weekend ahead.